time, call it call to order. Uh, start the meeting with the roll call. Bob Gilbert, member. Terry Waite, member. Ray Kachowski, member. Cindy Picos, member. Nancy Knight, member. Wendy Rathke, ever alternate. Terry Norwich, alternate. Bill Larson, ex officio. Okay, good. One open spot, Kathy. Uh, I'm going to seat Harry this time. Review of zoning language and to forward to public hearing. Why don't we start with the easy one? Kicking out of the way. <laughs> Let's start with the uh, administrative one that uh, just renumbers it. Let's see which one is that? Black. Uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, are you looking for a motion to approve that? Yes. All right, I'll make a motion then to move that the planning board do what's written here. <laughs> and the motion too. I second. Okay. Any discussion? <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. No, we just want to start at the top. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how this is in the interest of the morals of the town. <laughs> I have no problem with the word, but I have no idea what it means. <laughs> I laughed. <laughs> Came from town council. No, no, no. It doesn't it's have legal in here if you don't want it in there. It's probably some. No, no, I don't, I don't object to it. I just thought it was. I'll make a motion again to approve motion one as written. Okay. Second. Any discussion? Okay. Pass. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Pass. Well, this is easy. Let's see the next the, the motion three is to amend a special exception for raising of animals as an agricultural <coughs> facility in the old zoning districts. Okay, now this one, I guess, is from town council. All, all, all the, the three are from town council. Yeah. So I, I have no objections to the uh, to these motions, uh, other than we keep using the word agricultural use. So my concern is, and I raise the question: Is the boarding of equines considered an agricultural use? And is the raising and breeding of dogs considered an agricultural use? If not, then I think we need to talk about it doesn't address the issue of the horses. If, if it's considered an agricultural use, then, then I'm fine with the three motions as, as written. But I, I'm not sure the boarding of equines would be considered to be an agricultural use. I will also if, yes, that if you look in RSA 2134A, yeah. boarding of equines is a stated use. How about dogs? That dogs, no. Dogs are handled under different RSAs, and and they are domestic animals. They have nothing to do with agriculture. How about the boarding and breeding, though? Suppose somebody wanted to open a dog kennel. My only concern is if you want to open a dog kennel, like okay. I'd say, right? Neighbor, understood. It's yeah. not that uh, it's not that mm -hmm. it's disallowed. Right. It's I would like to want to make sure that what they're handling for for waste okay. is consistent with the GMPs, uh, the good management. Pri yeah, GMPs. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I don't know if dogs would be covered. Dogs are not covered under the any of these agricultural yeah. statutes okay. do not include dogs. Now the kenneling of dogs, <laughs> I, I yeah. don't know. I so if somebody wanted to open a kennel as a home business, mm -hmm. yep. I don't probably think would be allowed. Uh, uh, how, many, how, many, how many neighbors would show up? And Doesn't matter how many neighbors show up. If it's, a, if, it's, if it's allowed, it's allowed. But I thought I read somewhere that the, the select people have the right to say no 
um, if it has anything to do with noise, odor, pollution management. Um, Bill, in, to your question, there is one. Okay. Um, the kenneling of dogs for the dog sleds are right. covered. They are covered under RSA 21 because it says the use of dogs for herding, working, okay. or guarding okay. livestock. So sled dogs would not be a, would not, well, we're saying all other agricultural uses are allowed. So the kenneling of, of sled dogs would be allowed, but they would have to follow best management practices. Yeah, the, uh, um, the only other thing uh, that I'm concerned about here is the use of the word raising. It doesn't cover boarding or keeping. Well, I'll, I will check with town council and, and ask that question because raising is the word that's used in the RSAs. So I'll find out if that includes boarding or keeping and I'll tell them we're going to change the word to keeping because that's what you talked about at the last meeting. The other okay, thing, rather than raising. The other thing I've noticed before pertaining to dog kennels is we do have language that they're allowed in um, accessory uses by right in LDR, um, but there isn't a definition of dog kennels. I think when it was listed, it was probably like someone could have a run yeah. on the back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> do we need to clarify? A, a, Definition for dog kennels for how we have it here, so people don't say, "Oh, let's go be dogs." Well, and as I said, sleep. my concern is is only about not about dogs. It's about somebody starting a whole business of right. breeding dogs. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. mm -hmm. And my concern is not even that they should be allowed to do so. I don't have an objection to the doing it. I just think they need to have. They've got to follow the waste management practices that are listed in the GMPs, and they're quite stringent, even on dogs. Um, so that that's that is my only concern. I mean, I don't. If you want to raise dogs, it's fine with me. Next to your home, as long as they follow the GMP practices. What about the noise, though? Well, I, I mean, mean if we do have a noise, a noise ordinance, <coughs> but, but it leaves open all of this stuff when you use the word agricultural use, and I don't know how to close it. Anybody who gets an animal as a pet, you want a pet goat. Is that an agricultural use of the land? Uh, but not by my definition, that's not an agricultural use of the land. So I think we just need to recognize that that those if that though if those situations came up and they're very unlikely, um, we how, may be stuck with them. I mean, how are dogs differentiated from goats? They are both domesticated, right? Pigs too. I mean, does, is there a, a separate? You're, you're saying dogs are handled separately. Well, dog. There are specific state laws that relate to dogs and specifically what you, dogs specifically dogs um, because you have to register them and all of those other things think, yeah. I don't know what other domestic animal requirements there are whether you have to register a pig or whether you can just have a pig um, I don't know a pig license but well <laughs> Um, so well, I I would have to I would have to, um, there is a definition of livestock, okay, which is different than a pet th um, in the state law, and it does it says it shall include but not be limited to beef, dairy, cattle, steer, oxen, goats, sheep, swine, horses, mules, and other uh, as well as domesticated strains of buffalo, bison, lime, llamas, alpacas, emus, ostriches, poultry, rabbits, yaks, elk, fallow deer, red deer, and reindeer. So those are livestock in the state of New Hampshire. Can you keep a goat in your house? What do you want? I don't know. Why don't you try it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happens. Well, you know, people love pot belly pigs. Yeah. Yeah. Still? Well, well I, I, I would contend that in most of these cases where people are keeping animals as pets, I'm not so sure 
what what's the public interest here that we're trying to protect? Right. And and uh, I'm I'm just kind of if we allow a dog, why wouldn't we allow a goat? I'm okay with that. It, it, as I said, my only concern was when you get into running a business mm -hmm. of breeding dogs and the rest. I just wanted to make sure that that was under the definition of agricultural use. But wouldn't but that depend on the zone that you live in to be able to do that? I mean, if you're not zoned for something like that, you could. I could set up a kennel at my house. So we allow home businesses. Yeah, I mean, a kennel I grew up with. As long as it's secondary to, uh, we don't discriminate. I mean, yeah. you can have a home business as long as it's secondary to the fact that you live there. Yeah. Well, there are certain restrictions there. to a home business, though, and yeah. I, I, I'm not sure you that did? keeping dogs. Yeah, my mom has bred for me since business. I was seven. But, you know, it's not like There's they some. runs yeah. on acres. It was the little dogs, you know, yes. a litter at a time. But it, technically, it's a kennel. So there's a wide variety of definitions. Which is why I wondered if our definition, our, our use of kennel, should be defined. I think well, there's some kind of a statement in here that condo associations, yes. their rules apply. Yes. Right. Yeah. So yeah. That, yeah. Well, yeah, and that's fine. And yeah. and likewise, up on Moose Run, I understand they have covenants that prevent this, and that's fine. Yeah, it overrides the state. Yeah. So, but village commercial, high density, low yeah. density, re you know, well, low density residential. We want to avoid having a solution for something that's not yet a problem too. Right. And if you think about the way the town has developed, there really is not an awful lot of opportunity for many of these agricultural no. businesses. True. Except for something like a dog kennel, which if someone wanted to set up a business as, as a dog keeper, but there's a lot of dogs around the valley. Yeah. People go on yes. trips and stuff yeah. and they it might not be that outrageous to have somebody think about doing that. But that again is limited to certain areas because you can, <coughs> you know you can't set up a real estate office in a uh, low density residential zone because of certain restrictions with regard to a home business. You can in a high density, but not in a low density. Um, I, I'm not. I, I have to go read it again. Yeah. But my, you know, as long as it's kind of secondary to your living there, and you provide provisions for the parking and the rest, and you're not transacting, you're not exchanging money. In in the office, uh, I, I have an idea it is allowed, but, but that, I'd have to go read it. Again. That was one of the reasons that the um, Moose Run community changed to low density residential because of the potential of yeah. small businesses yeah. there going up there. Yeah. You know, there's a difference between um, <clears throat> somebody sitting, opening up a service to sit dogs for people that go on vacation. Most of the time, I mean, you would. I, I would I guess assume that you're going to have two or three dogs people are going to have and they're going to be at night at least they're, they're going to be inside a home or something. You start getting into these other animals and a lot of them are just outside in the backyard or the whatever and I mean it's a little bit of a could be a little bit of a difference. Yeah, it, it, it was an I, I you know I got there is a document called the New Hampshire agricultural GMPs. There's an actual physical document that he, I didn't realize he's referring to. Much of it deals with waste management practices. And where it really gets tough is, is the waste management practices when the ground is frozen, which uh -huh. is what happens here. For all intents and purposes, understand that what we're writing is going to prohibit horses because no one is going to live up to these GMPs. I, I, you know, you got to get clay line pits. You got to calculate how much volume you've got to allow for four months of storage on site. Uh, I mean, they're, they're pretty strict. Um, now, I'm not saying it's impossible, but uh, but it would be quite a burden. Um, now, I don't. I mean, that's what the GMPs are. <laughs> And those apply to everyone in the state, though, right? Yes. Oh, so it, well, the they're the GMPs. It, it, when we say that by special exception they have to be considered, we're making them force of law. GMPs are not force of law. They're recommended guidelines. Okay. And then in theory, the ZBA could, I guess, ignore them, even though we say they should consider them. But... Um, I, what are you suggesting, Phil, that the dog kennel situation well, I mean, be put in as a special exception situation? 
I, I no. Here's the first thing. What I'm suggesting is, is I think we should adopt these three, and uh, put some ways on a list to consider in future years. Do we need to tighten these down to include dog kennels? I mean, we're we're never going to get everything, you know. So that would be my. But I just wanted people to realize that there could be loopholes in agricultural yeah, the, and agriculture. The dog, the dog portion of RSA 21 is working dogs, but somebody taking someone else's dog in for a week or whatever <coughs> would not be covered under the, the definition. The definition that you're using, though, would cover the sled dogs. That That's a working dog and... So they would have to follow the BMPs. So it almost seems like no matter what you do, if you deal with agriculture and livestock, it's a separate issue than from dogs. So you would have yeah. to specifically deal with dogs perhaps on well, the same level. Well, it's a separate issue for everything except working dogs, whatever is defined here in RSA 21. Yeah. Everything else is... Proposing any changes to motion three? No, I, I, not at all. I, or three, four, or five. I, I'm not proposing any changes. I just think we ought to recognize that yeah. some lawyer would come in here and, if they wanted to, and possibly make an issue out of yeah. some minor points. And I will check with town council before the public hearing because um, it's it is a good question on whether a person, even though goats or swine are listed here these talk about businesses right and and the raising of them not the keeping of them as pets and we should have that answer yeah. as far as what can you do i mean i don't think you're going to have a dairy cow in your living room as a pet, no no but, but there have been you know, people oh yeah, that have wanted just, to have chickens yep. raise chickens as pets mm -hmm. Now you have you got to dispose of the eggs, right. <laughs> but is that an agricultural business? I don't I don't know. And frankly, uh, do I have a real problem with that? Personally, uh, you, you want chickens in your backyard? You Chicken waste is very odorous. It is. It is. It is strong. Right. Well, there is there is a specification in here on poultry on the numbers of chickens that you can have and um, the town of Northampton uh, went into great detail on poultry because of exactly that issue and the fact that if you want eggs you're going to have to have a rooster around right no, um, no. no you don't no. have to no. good you want well chicks, you roosters are them. specifically <laughs> roosters are specifically stated in there because of the noise that they make yeah. um, and they, so they go into a lot of detail, um, I was noticing online, to, to be very clear on poultry. I mean, they limit it to like three chickens and one rooster. And if you have a rooster, you have to have so many acres of land. And, you know, so they, Bill's right. You got to think about how yeah. detailed you want to get. I mean, you gotta, you gotta Some towns are very detailed. You got to think about some nice afternoon and you're sitting on your deck and <laughs> enjoying nature however you want to do that and you're listening to somebody else's chickens or roosters you know next door it's the roosters that's what we had the roosters are the issue you had a winter oh, noise wise that's right mm -hmm. or the being right. down at town square noise wise <laughs> yeah, the but that's, roosters are it's the, the roosters issue. i get fire or the wedding I celebration got, yeah, <laughs> yeah but that's a one time event kind yeah, of yeah really hear the rooster <laughs> really <laughs> Good starting point, but yeah, it would just have to, yeah, at some point consider it further. So or we'll tighten it up. You have a motion from motion three? Yeah, make a motion that we 
accept this language and move it forward as a, as written. Do we have a second? I'll second. With, with the um, with the proviso that you're going to be checking that we're raising yeah. and keeping, right? Yes. Yeah. Are you and you're okay with me changing it to keeping if he says it's okay? One Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, that should state that in the motion. Yes, state. Please state it. Oh, oh. Um, Statutory constitution has got. It lists, uh, it lists all the words in, in one case here. It's got breeding, boarding, raising, training, riding. Mm -hmm. You could put all the words in there. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll find out. I, I, I think I understand what your intent is. It's not just raising it from a baby to an adult so What if we put in animal? raising, keeping, boarding? Right. What if we put in well, all three of them? Well, I'll, I will ask, yes. So amend the motion to... Um, move this forward with the possibility of changing the wording from raising to keeping. Or is it well, we do as, as many as, as many as, 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 as possible. When, when you well, no, but agricultural right. use pursuant to RSA twenty one covers all those words. Okay, it's a matter of whether the word raising, right, for the raising of animals as an agricultural use, because an agricultural use includes the boarding of horses. That's in the statute, and all those words. Okay. Okay, so it's just a matter of whether it says keeping or raising that one word. And then agricultural use takes care of everything else. So really, raising or keeping is academic if all the words are in RSA. Keeping is in the IRSA. RSA, what was it? Bra raising is, but keeping isn't. That's correct. So yeah. if you put keeping... Oh, well, that's okay. what I was going to yeah. ask, exactly. whether or not we change it, or whether or not we should leave the word but if you raising. But if you put raising, the way it's written mm -hmm. here, it limits it. To only raise it. That's that's what I right. that's what I'm asking. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah. You want to withdraw your motion and remake it? Yeah. Who withdraw that last motion? I re withdraw the second. Um, make a motion that we move uh, motion three forward. Um, I guess subject to town, town, com, town council approving uh, the wording of uh, whether we could substitute keeping for raising. I'll second. Any further discussion? The way that's worded, does that allow the exception of either way that it move forward at that point? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, that, that passed. Motion four on the number of acres. Yeah. Um, the the proposal of that is um, that there that the lot be large enough to handle a number of animals. Um, there are other towns that use different acreage. Uh, some use three, some use four. Um, you can substitute any number that you want in there. All town council asks is that there be some kind of discussion and decision by the board um, so that it's not you know so that you you have discussed um, the actual number so that it's not arbitrary in the sense that we just plopped a number down I did for this meeting but you guys should discuss the acreage and what you think is appropriate 
so the, it should be part of the minutes. So the best management practices does not they give do you a guide as to what acreage you need? They no, do it not. does not in terms of density of animals per acre. All, all it talks to is cleaning up the waste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and preventing um, the waste from getting into the, the water. water. Right, right. Yeah. Do we have, no, uh, do we, can we talk about what areas we have that would allow? Sure. Um, yeah, that's In town, that's critical. so that we can get Basically, an five acres in town, within the boundaries of the town, you're talking about the golf course? Is there anything mm -hmm. other than the golf course that's more than five acres? Yeah, the area by the parking lots in the center of town is more than five acres. Which area, Mark? The, uh, Which area? The, the old fifth fairway oh, okay. and behind gotcha. uh, Green Beach. Okay, so C1, C1, commercial zone C1 has more than five acres left. Yep. The Brock's property down the road is well over five acres. That's LDR. And the Where's property that? down in Wanalancet, uh, down by Wanalancet. The Brock's It's down, it's it's along the river down by the bridge. The six five mile, mile bridge. Six mile bridge. Oh, okay. What about, about um, in, in Back of Mad River? In Back of Mad River is about 10 acres. That rec land down there, the rec land, yeah, yeah, although there is part of that that's limited with a <coughs> 400 foot radius, that lot itself is more than five acres. That rec land is, below high country. Is there? But is there any access to behind Mad River other than that path that goes through Mad River and Osceola? No. How about down by the bridge? Down by the bridge. Am I not in the right place? Well, you, 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 below Tyler Springs, right? No, that's not five acres. Okay. Um, but you should also, I mean, someone theoretically could purchase existing lots, five one-acre lots, and put together, no, nobody, nobody's going to spend, well, I wouldn't think anyone's going to spend $5 million, <laughs> but um, you never can tell. I mean, it's... <coughs> I think... You, in this particular one, we run into the same situation with raising and keeping, which is something we ought to yep. consider. And mm -hmm. the other thing is that uh, put five, uh, putting five acres down is arbitrary because there's no farmer here and nobody knows how much it takes to keep horses. Uh, yes, when I put five here, that was arbitrary. You should either agree with that for a reason or say, no, we think it should be. But we have no basis for thinking well, that. Right. Well, right. Yeah, actually, well, the horses, they do give you some, they, they, in the GMPs, they, they differentiate between are you intending to leave the manure on the ground, in which case they give you some guidance as to how many acres you need to get rid of a horse, um, which is really prohibitive. That's why they go to the next thing, which is you've got to provide a storage area for the manure on site and then move it, you know. Um, but almost any, on five acres, you could meet the storage requirement. I mean, you could build the thing to hold it. And have an adequate buffer zone. Oh, I would think right. so, yeah, right. right. Uh, yeah. You've had some experience. Yeah, and <coughs> the thing is that you do need uh, a, a place, and I'm sure this is in the, the practices as well, you need a place to exercise horses. In all kinds of weather, whether it be covered space or some kind of uh, corral space, they need to be taken out and ridden and walked. Well, they're kind of wishy washy on that. But I mean, you know. <laughs> but yeah, they <laughs> but do it, mention it that. Does, yeah. It does need to be addressed, and that takes, you know, a minimum of an acre or two. Well, do they have to be exercised on that property? Because it, what they're talking about is. Well, otherwise, they might be kind of going up and down on Boulder Path Road. You you gotta pro yeah well right you gotta walk them on public roads I mean mm -hmm. but uh, in the yeah. winter in the summer you can go they, there's a lot I think you're allowed to take them into the forest service right. but not in the winter yeah is that a daily thing Harry well, should be. exercising a, a, should be. a horse yeah. or whatever yeah absolutely I'm curious. so the question so, is. Not the question. I, I guess 
if uh, I, yeah, would the Waterville company convert the skate park into a <laughs> horse park? What about, what about the uh, new owners of the dump horse? Money for. I mean, who knows what they might do if that's not successful? But, but that skate park is, is, is parking area. I don't think they could convert it to something <laughs> other than a skateboard park because that's a yearly... Yeah. Well, remember the nature of what we're doing here is basically saying here are the restrictions where you can't do these things. But that. generally, agricultural practices are allowed in all zones, all areas of the town. Yeah. So y you get into a little bit of a catch-22. So if the restriction doesn't apply by definition, then it's allowed. Yeah. It, you know, it's not yeah. like you have to read the other uses. This yeah. is a, you know, these uses are allowed. I, I, I think that's a pretty low risk. I mean, I don't think it's a... I can, uh, I, I can see this at a public hearing at some point where somebody says very clearly, how did you come up with five acres? Yeah. And right. we're, you know, the, the discussion works well around the table here, but they're really, yeah. to, at this point, there's nothing more than, I don't know, I guess five acres is probably needed. And that's pretty hard to... to well, I think five acres, I'd use it on the basis, it seems like a... If the intent of the state law is to allow agriculture to occur, and you can put some reasonable limits on it, it would seem to me that five acres is not, you know, that if you had a prop piece of property bigger than that, and you chose to farm it, you know, and you had five acres, that just sounds about right that you ought to be allowed to try it. <laughs> well, I don't know how else to answer. I know you don't. Yeah, I don't either. I mean, I yeah. have no better answer than that myself, but yeah. I just know, I know how this happens. We all agree on something. Somebody from the public yeah. sits there, yeah. hits us with a question, we say, well, I don't know, it just sounded good when we talked about yeah. it. <laughs> well, that's not entirely true. I mean, we talked about it, we said that they need exercise, we want a buffer zone. I mean, yeah, but then the next then question is, which one of you guys is an expert? I mean, how do you know how much it takes to exercise? And that we, right. yep. we haven't any any expert yeah. input on yeah. making this what, decision. What if you wanted I mean, one horse as a pet? I mean, and I know... Well, that, that goes back to the you pet too? question versus agricultural yeah. use. Yeah. And I, I, we have to ask that question because we don't yeah. know. And I, I was just kind of looking online. So Maryland... Um, their horse council recommends one acre minimum lot size for if you have one horse. Yeah, there has to be some. Where was that, uh, Nancy? Where uh, was that? Maryland Horse Council requires. Or How'd you pick Maryland? Well, at least that's something. Uh, it just came well, out first. Oh. Yeah. The other one I said. How Find many? a state that requires ten. No, no. That, that's just for one horse. If you want another horse at all. You also have to couch it in terms of you have the best management practices for the removal of the manure right. and the storage and all of that. So you have to have an area for that, which is with the barn. You're, you're going to have probably some kind of living area, right? Human area, even parking. That's another set of dimensions that you have to think about. You, the the um, zoning board is going to be able to adjust setbacks under special exceptions. So an area for increasing setbacks, for building screening, all of those things are going to be part of the calculation of the area that you need. So that one acre per horse might be an acre and a quarter or an acre and a half when you get to everything else that you are going to have to do. That's agreed, but I think Nancy's so, got a good idea here, and that's going to some sort of an association. Mm -hmm. it must be a horse breeding association that in New Hampshire. I wouldn't take the Maryland one because the weather's different down there, and, and there are different things. But if you, if we should, shouldn't we go to some sort of a an organization or association that has that type of information and? get their input on that and that way when you're sitting there and the, somebody asks the questions well this came from the okay. horse breeding it, association it, we could but sure is it time we pass this language today yeah, yeah. That's, that's well is there nothing yeah okay but is it is this particular motion right <coughs> here pursuant to allowing the horses to be used over at the conference center i mean is that what this whole thing is about at this particular point in time 
the horses at the conference center raised the issue. We found that we have an overall issue with the zoning ordinance, period. Because we don't address agricultural use at all in the zoning ordinance. Yeah, but this is a case of if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Because I mean, it, well, I, I understand what you're talking about. broke is yeah. no. that now agricultural yeah. use is allowed in any yeah. zone in yeah. with, no, with restriction. no restriction. I understand that, but have you had a, 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 a throng of people coming to your office saying, I want to raise horses or I want to raise cows or I want to have sheep or something like that? I mean, it hasn't been an issue at this particular no, point. We've had it, people, it, I think, ask about chickens. Yes. And we've had people ask about horses. Well, obviously, you have horses. And, and the thing is, we've told them no, even the chickens, Illegal. we've said no, right. because we weren't aware of what the issue, what the and issue There just seems to be an urgency here that I haven't seen, a, a, a maybe because I'm not privy well, to all these. Well, because there was no urgency Terry. before because we thought that the action that was taken in 1979 was an affirmative action by the town to prohibit animals in the community. So we have been communicating to people that they couldn't have animals because of what the town meeting had voted in 1979. We didn't realize that the action that town meeting took actually opened up the town to right. allow agricultural uses anywhere in the town without any restriction. Without any restrictions. Without so any, it's none. got a one, 10 by 10 lot yeah. allowed. Do you have to follow GMPs? No. <laughs> right. Remember, GMPs and, are just guidelines. And I, yeah. and I think we've got to look at this as um, th uh, this is our best effort in uh, having a starting point. That's right. You know, it's, I mean, next year we can, we're going to re revisit some of this stuff as. Other problems maybe come up and reevaluate, but we got to so, start somewhere. You know, I go back to again five acres. Let's take the horse example. Somebody's got five acres of land. It's not by a river, so let's see you can meet the GMPs, dispose of the waste. Am I objecting to four horses being boarded on five <coughs> acres yeah. of land for the purposes of a recreational ride? No, I'm living with that. Seems to me that motion three takes care of an awful lot of what you're concerned about. Well, three and five, because five, five nails five. down yeah. exactly, exactly what the standards you got to live up to. Yeah. And it limits the agricultural use to special exceptions. So yeah. it's not a use by right. They have to go to the ZBA. And this handles the thing that Bill was just concerned about because you can take that special exception and you can look at all these things that we're all discussing here and say right. this the could ZBA be a problem. would is required then to the, they need to go through and so before you can have horses, someone's got to come and apply, and they've got to say, okay, show me how you're in compliance with the appropriate best management practices. I just think in order to avoid being arbitrary and. and <coughs> opening yourself to a legal challenge that this five acres thing is, uh, unless we've got more to back it up than just what I've seen right here today. Um, mm. is, and if you feel comfortable that we're covered by motions three and five with regard to the imminent situations, that this could be taken up next year. Well, I, well if you're not comfortable with five acres, then I would ask that you might consider deferring to New Hampton that set it at four. Because we can call them and find out where they came up with four. <laughs> and at least it you have from some other at least you <laughs> have so we did some research. <laughs> at least you have an existing municipal ordinance that has an acreage in it. You can call that municipality, you can find out where they came up with four. If you're not satisfied, move it forward to public hearing. If you're not because remember you can't change this language. Right. If you want to put in the four, we'll, we'll call New Hampton, find out what other communities have for a number, and we'll, we'll talk about it at the public hearing, and then don't move it forward to town meeting vote. Well, can I read something? Yeah. Uh, this is Maine's guidelines for uh, managing uh, horses. 
and this is just one section that needs more study, but land to maintain a horse is not as significant as the care of animal it's use. The most important factors uh, are exercise space and cleanliness and manure management. For example, less than an acre of land can be adequate if it is near a park or public riding facility. However, the same amount of land in a high density urban area with no exercise facilities or manure removal system may not be adequate. So, um, and, and it goes on and on and on. Like uh, maybe one, or, may uh, require as little as three quarters to one and a quarter acres per horse. Yeah, I so found the same thing. And actually, in talking so to people, horses. I asked a vet friend um, what she felt about horses being in a small enclosure. And she said that <coughs> the acreage that they're on isn't as important as the amount of exercise they get. So if, and, and I know there's an issue of the manure on the streets so as that well. So the acreage would fit in with the best management practices then, too. Right. It right. does talk in the GMP so horses mm -hmm. about exercise so you gotta let's talk about raising animals so if you gotta exercise your cow how much room do you need? <laughs> well I think I think the five acres is it, it, Terry I, I, and I kind of tend to agree with you when you look at the horse issue but the question becomes if somebody wants to let's say have chickens or a goat as a pet it'd be awfully nice to simply say if you don't have five acres no pets Boy, that, yeah. it's, I know it's kind of arbitrary, but, and, and if we lose, and if somebody says, well, you can't do that, that's my right to have a pet, well, I'll take us to court. They're not going to take us to court. They're not going to, and, and uh, I don't think there's going to be a big difference between five acres or four acres. I mean, at that no, point, I, 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 I don't think that's going to be the issue. Well, I don't, I don't have, a, I think even if we got it as low as three acres or two acres, yeah. It's avoiding the nuisance of somebody who's got an existing house, high density residential, a half acre lot, and he wants to put chickens in his backyard. And I think we would kind of say, I don't know if that's such a swift idea, right? Yeah, I, I think Mark's suggestion may be, because of the apparent urgency in this situation, at least you could refer to a local town, the, the town's not too far away, New Hampton, uh -huh. um, and they hopefully have reasons for their four acres. You know? <laughs> I hope they didn't uh, just pick, pick a number, like we were but at least there's some sort of reasoning behind the number. So I would suggest that we at least, if nothing else, change it to four, and then I guess I could probably live with that. I don't really have much of a problem with it. Yeah, there's provenance. It's just, you know, like artwork. totally. <laughs> New Hampton, North Hampton. Okay. I mean, they've, North they've got a lot of open space. We don't yeah, have, we don't have any space. Exactly. We have, we got 500 acres here. That, that's a big consideration. And please make sure that that's in the minutes. We're a miniature town. We ought to require a miniature animal. <laughs> <laughs> only miniature ones. Right, it's definitely a great <coughs> in, impact in this town. We're, we're only 500 acres as far as having these situations as opposed to a town spread out. And, yeah, that's what I mean. You so know, to me, five acres here. Yeah, but we're going to screw up Sandy's ability to have a donkey. Uh, no, well, no, no. You you know, be, be, if, if you, well, if you go to the four acres, you're right, uh, unless... See again, it gets into this stuff. That we're gonna see. She's gonna argue agricultural use. It's a pet. Yeah. You're gonna have to be able to. Uh, we've got this loophole sitting here. A pet's a pet. <laughs> you can have a dog. Why can't I? Can't have a we dog? say household pets? Only. <laughs> well. Yeah. Well, no, because I'm sure there are people who keeps their dogs outside. Well, this is there raising, raising, raising and keeping dogs of animals, animals for. Uh, agricultural use, but it's an, right. ex an accepted so. practice is having dogs inside a home. So I think not a donkey. Sandy's, she's not a for that donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Cheryl already got her pig, so she's yeah, right. She's clean. She's grandfather. So you're suggesting, Ray, that the answer to the question from the public about that would be, uh, well, we looked at New Hampton and it was four acres, but we have much less open area, therefore we restricted it great more than and all the other And all the other reasons here are the setbacks. So, you know, we want, we want 
we want enough land so that you, we can have a buffer zone between, because we're such a compact town, we want a buffer zone around the, the horses. So you need the, uh, the exercise and all the other things. I, I don't, I'm not having a hard time with five acres. Yeah, yeah when you look at it that way, it's making sense. That reason should be recorded so that it can be used. It's in minutes. It's in the minutes now, right? So five acres is four acres plus buffer. No, the five acres would include the buffer. Yeah. Maybe it'd be big enough to have uh, if some some larger setbacks than thirty five feet or something. If Mark and Council had come up with the number nine, would we be looking at <laughs> nine acres now? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sure. Right. And I think that the, it, 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 along with what, what Harry said and others said, to me the issue is, are you in compliance with the good management practices? If you're keeping horses and you're in compliance with those standards, I'm okay with you're keeping horses now. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think it's hard to get four acre parcel here. No. So right. So if, if we said four and we could point to New Hampton, it's so hard to get four acres, it might be safer. It's only a couple of spots that are four acres. Most of them are zoned uh, wreck. And then we're sticking our necks out a little less. Yeah. Or special yeah. civics, about, right? Those are about the two that have got yeah. any sizable chunks of land. And you still have to go to special exceptions, so it's still going to get reviewed by right. the CPA yeah. in yeah. detail. Right. And it's going to be a case-by-case -case basis, so. Yeah, I'm just wondering about that land behind High Country because that's right on the river and, that, and I'm not sure what yeah. that sure yeah, well, I, I'm pretty sure for horses it is out just on the basis of the yeah. GMPs because it very much does talk about uh, managing uh, animal waste when the ground is frozen and how that's a real problem and you can't allow it to run off into the stream so I, I gotta believe that's going to be an immense problem down there. Yeah, just How are you going to keep it out of the river? Yeah, I'm just wondering what the uh, shoreline protection area says too, because that's an additional restriction. Well, they weaken some isn't, of those, so I don't know. Isn't yeah. that area and the one behind Mad River in the floodplain? So I don't know if that comes into play at all, but they are the we. Again, the ZPA can take all of that into consideration under the special exception. So, I mean, that would they would have to really build quite a facility there to protect <coughs> the watershed in a whole bunch of different ways. And they would have to meet the restrictions of the shoreline to protect everything. Yeah, yeah, <coughs> absolutely. Yeah, because it's not just the manure you've got to worry about. I mean, urination mm -hmm. permeates into the soil and runs right. off. It's yeah, that's part of it. Yeah. I mean, you need storage for hundreds of bales of hay. Of hay. Oh, I mean, no, one horse it's has right. consumes like 100 bales of hay in here. Yeah, and they're talking yeah. about they're talking yeah. about clay line. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Particularly up here because it's very yeah. porous soil. Yeah. Yeah. Where would then, after all this language is um, determined, whatever the final outcome is, um, where then would horses? Be, be kept. Well, uh, either they'd have to go back and talk to the um, academy into letting them keep them on their property, or happen. the golf course. Yeah. Yeah. The golf can't, I, 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 I can't see a school allowing <coughs> that and well, everything. School that, is us. Huh? Are so the school is us. <laughs> no, I mean the academy. That's well, private. I mean well, that's um, that school. I mean you got kids and di potential disease and whatever and. They're not going to open that can of worms. That's a liability, I would think. It's their problem. No, I know. Well, and they won't do it. I mean, no, it's it's that's up to whoever wants to do it. They, I mean, they can as long as they meet these guidelines, mm -hmm. then they can. So, but the upshot, did we want to change five to four? I like raising the idea myself. Let let. If if we has to be if it's going to be changed next year, well then you can use the New Hampton thing and say well. North Hampton. Hmm? North, North, yeah, North, it's, North, it's North, North Hampton. Just oh. ninety three. 
Yes. In the southern part of the state. Well, North I thought Hampton. you said North no, 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 North, 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 North Hampton, Hampton. Oh. North Hampton Beach. Uh, oh. That's down, big that was I was thinking, I was thinking of Hampton yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of horses down there. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I, they have riding trails too there. Huh? It makes any difference. They have riding trails there yeah. too. The other yeah. place that has big horses here in the state of New Hampshire is over at Atatash. There's an equine mm -hmm. center over there. It's down there in the valley. Go. We'll call them. That's a good example. Why don't we? We'll call them. Yeah. Thornton. In, with, um, and Thornton farm. will call the, we'll go see the horse people. What do you do uh, about this? Heidi, I can't Heidi think. and Parker, you Yeah, yeah. He's too late they to do anything. They have a beautiful place. Well, you pick, beautiful. A, they've about pick a number. They've about 100 acres, 80 Easy. acres. Down and by the river. We'll live with the number for a year, and we'll do more research, and and we'll, we'll go with it. We'll have something on the books to start the discussion, and... It, there will be something in place that this may evolve. Like Bob said, we may, you know, we may go through this and there may be things that, but we're focused on the horses because that's the question that brought it up. But like Bill says, this is, this covers all of those livestock that I mentioned with the other question. Yeah. It would seem that horses might require more room than most of the others though. Well, maybe. Who knows? But, but yeah. again, I gotta, I, We've got to do. We've we've got a starting point this way. See, I, my thing with the horses is, I don't have a problem with the horses as long as they manage correctly. Correct. Right. Me too. Exactly. We're not trying to prevent somebody from opening up uh, an equestrian ride here. We had one for years. For yeah. twenty years, they ran equestrian rides out of here, yeah. and there was never any problems. So I'm not opposed to the idea. As long as they're taking steps to make sure the horses are treated correctly. I I hear what you're saying, but there's I mean there's there's been more development. Uh, it's fine unless you're in the vicinity of where this may take place, and then see how you know I mean how that happens. If uh, is that why that red house is empty? Because <laughs> they no. put a barn there. I I just I think that that um, that's the other reason, Terry, why we would want to move forward <clears throat> this year with something is the fact that even in the limited time I've been here, there's been a lot of additional development, a lot of additional areas that could have maybe fit yeah. um, a place for horses to be boarded or whatever that have been developed. And the BBTS is a perfect example. And if they come in during the year with their next building, who knows? They may. Um, look at the way that the golf course and the open areas in the center of town have changed. Mm -hmm. Well, I really don't so, have any problem with this other than the fact that it's hard to justify it. And, uh, you know, but for the purposes of getting it on the book, so, so mm -hmm. to speak, to remedy a current situation, mm -hmm. If you want to go with five, I don't really care whether it's five or four. It really does make that much difference. I think that uh, the, the idea that it, the horse thing is a special exception that opens that door to allow those things that we, I, I think that's a great thing to have in town here. Right. Uh, and that leaves the selectmen the option to make sure it's not creating a, a problem. So uh, just wanted to get some sort of justification of it, that's all. Well, with that said, I'll make a motion that we move this, this amendment forward to the March meeting. You as, written, as written? As written. I, are you going to look into the uh, raising, and keeping it's as close to raising yeah. in this one as well? Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah, whatever language we agree on ought to yeah. be the same. Well, it should be in the motion, yeah, I it, think. It should be in okay. the motion. And we'll look into the uh, substituting the word keeping for raising. Okay. I have a second. I'll second that. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. What if we put down, I mean, just for future, what in, in going forward, what if we put down minimum lot size 
like, and we set up a ratio, like one horse, one acre, or something like that. Yeah, this guy thought of that, but the, you, you, somebody gets two horses and they keep two for a year, and then they add, uh, they say, boy, I like this, I'm like, gonna get a third one. And remember, we're trying to cover all of those uses in yeah. RSA 21, so yeah. are you going to define, is it two goats or three goats per acre, yeah. is it five chickens or well, we're gonna look two chickens and a rooster? We're going to look into what yeah. they're doing with Thorne and over yeah. at, uh, yeah. at Attach, right? Yeah. 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 So I think until we get that stuff, anything else is just going to be yeah. speculation. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what it, what the the answer is, is, is uh, hopefully the Forest Service will give them permission to keep the horses on their yeah. property. Yeah. Can, can somebody explain to me why the Forest Service won't allow them to go into the forest in the winter? Frozen ground. Right. Right. They have a permit right. that only covers the summer. summer. Right. Okay. Uh, and they haven't ruled on whether they would allow them in the winter. Okay. Thank you. The Forest Service is in a really tough position, you know, because it's public land that they control, mm -hmm. and there's so many different opinions on how to use it. They have to juggle it, you know. It, it's very difficult for them to make a decision because the input is so all over the place. They get paid by them dearly. That's why it takes years and years to revise this. Well, I think that's the answer. They they generally just drag their feet for five right. years. By then, hopefully, the yeah, question goes away. Yeah. 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 They have it as like far as plans. I mean, right. In these geraria zones, uh, I mean, where it is. Well, they may get it now because, I mean, they just passed an amendment to the zone. Yes. They are now supposed to allow more activity, so maybe yeah, this would be. I heard some rumor about that. Uh -huh. I ain't a rumor. No, I mean, they passed it. <laughs> they passed, passed it. it so yeah, yeah, Congress passed them. Yeah. Yeah. So it's now, what does this mean to the. Uh, Curious George Gardens over there, because that's certainly agricultural use. Well, because we say every other agricultural use is, is allowed, allowed, then it's fine. Yeah, okay. You can't remember that tilling the soil is one of those things that we can't right. stop, yeah. period. You sure can't you keep a monkey? Regulate, period. <laughs> huh? Can you keep a monkey? Well, if you know, that's an interesting. Suppose they wanted a monkey. Yeah, a wor it could be a working monkey. So it's handicapped. You know? Don't. Well, if they're raising monkeys, it's a problem, I think. But if they're just as keeping a, a monkey, what if the monkey doesn't have a mouth? No. No. I mean, look at it. You're real curious, George. I mean, the monkey lives in an apartment oh, building. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's, there's uh, a new designation with a companion dog. Right? Bush garden. What? There's a new Okay, what if I want to ride a horse? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can we Moving on, on to motion five. Motion five. Motion five. Because we're having too much fun today. Yeah. Yeah. Got nothing better to do. <laughs> so this is the uh, the listing of all the uh, special exceptions. Um, and the, these are the ones that are in addition to the four general requirements, which right. it can't be objectionable Five, to the right. people, right, or right, whatever. Yeah, right. Right. No, no, we have four. He's talking about in our ordinance. In our ordinance already. Oh, okay. There's already, oh, okay. yeah. there's already four. Um, I'll make a motion to, to, to that we forward motion five. As written. Do I have a second? Okay. Any discussion on this one? No. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'm sorry, who was the second? Harry. 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 Thank you. Did you abstain? I didn't have a chance to read it yet. Oh. I got it through. Okay. You, you got the email. <laughs> I read it, but I couldn't remember it. <laughs> I know that football game last night. Really <laughs> exciting, so you didn't get a chance. Yeah. I was away. Last it till midnight, too. Oh, my. They did put uh, it. Yeah. Huh? It went on forever. It was awesome. It was good day. Do we have anything mm -hmm. else please, before the board? Do we? Now, uh, what, what's our agenda going forward now? We have a meeting next 
So this 29th. goes to public hearing on the 29th. 29th. Well, we have a whole yeah. bunch of issues, right? No, just these five. Well, we still no, have the signs. The sign no, thing is not resolved. Yeah, we we still signed. dangling around on signs. Oh, no, we're done. The open house thing? No. No, that was. No, we're well, done with signs. We finished signs, except the did real estate. Did we finish state. signs? Yeah. Or did we still have that real issue regarding yeah. changing two to four yeah. the number of open house signs we that we it. had to move to a public hearing? We did change it. We changed, we it, changed to it to but four, it but it hadn't passed yet because that has to go to public. It has okay. to go to public so, hearing. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So signs. That was one sign. But it's point. just that one item. Just the one item. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The rest are. Passed. All right. So now we have six. <laughs> we have six things on the agenda. Six okay. things. What, anything else? Last chance for 2015. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Good. January 29th at 8 a.m. Uh, these are by vote, right? When they go? This is by, uh, by ballot. ballot. Yes prior to the meeting. Someone probably ought to think about writing a little wigwag article as to why yes. we are proposing some of these things. Um, wigwag articles need to be in by next Thursday. But we are, but that's, or next in order Tuesday, to, so but yeah, but, but the town meeting is when? Town March. meeting is in March. So you March. could do the February. Yeah. Wigwag. Right. If you're going to be in the January wigwag, it's got to be. No, we j February would be better. Okay. We want to get as close to town meeting as But once they're adopted, I wouldn't put it in if they're not right. yet adopted. Right. Okay. So that is to be in by the 18th, whatever that is. Yeah, the 18th of February. Yeah. We no, otherwise, people are going to have a lot of difficulty January. voting on for, this. No, yeah, we want it for the February first no, wigwag. It needs to. I think we're talking two different things here. If we want it in the February 1st, we'd wag it has to be January. If we want it in the March 1st, then That's it's right. We want it in I'm the March 1st. I'm willing, willing to live to the March 1st. Okay. That's yeah. fine. Because that will come out right about the same time as the, the town, town meeting. Report. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The yeah. town yeah. report. Yeah. With the the town meeting? Town yeah, meeting is March 10th. Tuesday, March 10th. It's coming fast. Yes, it is. Public hearing, just so you can all mark your calendars, because I know you love to be there, February 4th at the Recreation Department multi-purpose oh, room, busy. 6 p.m. Are you not going to be there, Terry? I'm going to miss you. What's that, the budget? The budget. Does that mean the school one will be the night before? Is that how um, I don't know when they scheduled theirs for it. They're usually uh, the night before, which would be the third but I don't know if they pushed it to the 10th what time did you say 6 p.m. at Feb the multi-purpose room February 4th February 4th mm. and if everything goes well we'll have the budget printed uh, by the end of the month. If there's nothing else, so I have a motion to adjourn. Uh, move to adjourn. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you.